Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this Art Addicts Alliance video for the month of June. Well, mine is May and June combined and I'll touch up on that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and get started. So this month's theme was rainbow and or surreal. I chose surreal because it would tie into what I was planning to do for Mary's theme, which was alien. And before I go into all of that, two things that I want to go over, what I'm painting and what exactly the Art Addicts Alliance is. So once I got my alien shaped panel, I turned to Instagram to decide what I would paint. And we came up with a psychedelic Seth Rogen portrait on a plant themed background. So to get started, I gessoed this panel three times with white gesso mixed in with some purple acrylic paint. Then then I did my sketch on Procreate, printed it on computer paper, and then traced it onto my panel. Next, I decided to do a base of colors and acrylic. I wanted to do a negative painting sort of background, so that's what you'll see me doing here using my Liquitex Basics Acrylics and also using the tips and method that an artfully lived life shared in her video, and I'll link that tutorial down below. And then to do the portrait, I used acrylic gouache, Holbein's acrylic gouache to be more specific. And so yeah, now let's talk a little bit about the Art Addicts Alliance in case you are new to my channel. The Art Addicts Alliance is a group of artists on YouTube that collab once a month on an official prompt that we vote on in our Discord. You too can join our Discord and vote for the monthly prompt. You could also suggest themes, chat with us, and share your art or content. If you're interested in becoming an official member, you can apply right on our Discord. We only ask that you are an active creator and have a minimum of 100 subscribers. There is more information and all that good stuff on the Discord. And if you don't want to commit on being a permanent member, you could also join as a featured guest for the month, whatever you feel comfortable with. Overall, it's a great supportive group and it's fun to see how everyone makes their prompt truly their own. The Discord is also a fun place to just keep in touch and make new art friends. So far, this amazing group of fun, awesome artists is made up of Aurora's Art World, Weblight Dreams, All Funnies and Games, Blue Finn, Enjoy Drawing with Mary, Jenna Gets Creative, The Artsy Pineapple, Justin Dwyer Artistry, Jazz Capri, Pandimensional Space Zombie, and me. I highly recommend you check out all their channels. Okay, back to the story. So towards the end of April, I came across Chuckle Art Supplies and saw that they came out with this space themed wood panels for the month of May and thought that would be perfect for the alien theme. And if you don't know who Chuckle Art Supplies is, don't worry, I didn't know either. They are a US art supply company based in California that carry a super wide selection of brushes, panels, palettes, and more. And I really love their unique panel shapes that they create so I would definitely recommend that you check them out. I bought this panel, a star panel, and a planet panel, and an awesome watercolor brush. It feels very high quality, very professional. I, I really love that brush now. Anyways, so I ordered, waited for the arrival, shared to Instagram, and created a poll as to what to paint, and there were so many good suggestions, but the ultimate winners were of a Seth Rogen portrait because of the movie Paul, and a plants background and let me tell you at first I was super excited to take on this challenge and get started I knew exactly what I wanted to do I wanted to be able to hear Seth Rogen's contagious yet slightly annoying laughter coming from this painting it's so brutal, so brutal. <laughs> but then the anxiety set in and I wasn't sure if I could even pull it off. I went on his Instagram and tried to find the most smiley of his photos and ended up learning that he was really into pottery, pun fully intended, and he is actually pretty good at it. Anyhow, I ended up choosing this photo as a reference but I did decide to exaggerate his smile a little more to make him look more disproportionate. Kind of like the Coney Island kid, but just the mouth. Once I got the sketch down, the idea in my head, the background laid it down and ready to go, I completely choked. I just stared at it and I couldn't bring myself to do it. I know I'm not the only one with this irrational fear of not creating what you want to create or wasting good art supplies because I did plan to use the whole vinyl acrylic gouache and the final outcome just overall not being anything like what you wanted in the first place, right? 
And that's the problem with knowing exactly what you want to create because then you put all this pressure on yourself to make something that you don't even know if your skills or if you have the capacity to create it. It's so hard sometimes to make what's in your brain come through on your surface. Unfortunately, there is no copy and paste, at least for me there isn't, and I wish that there was because then I wouldn't end up feeling this way and scaring myself into not creating at all. I just end up staring at this incomplete piece like a dummy because I've intimidated myself into thinking that I'm going to somehow ruin it. And then I start to think to myself, what's wrong with ruining it? If it comes out bad, then it comes out bad and at least I learned something new. And then I still wait to finish it. And then one day turns to two days, which then turns to seven. That turns into three weeks. And now here we are at the end of June, finally getting over myself and completing this painting. I think as an artist, we tend to be our own worst enemy. And often, at least myself, I stop myself from learning because I'm so afraid of failing, which I know is so dumb, so why do I keep doing that? Well, it's because I'm human. And one day I hope to get over that fear of failing. Definitely not today though. Maybe not even ever. I don't know, maybe it's a permanent character flaw. Maybe I'll grow out of it, I don't know. But I'll keep trying to push myself forward and maybe, just maybe, I'll stop putting things off till tomorrow. Anyways, now that I got that off my chest, let's talk more about this process. As I mentioned before, I decided to use Holbein's acrylic gouache for this portrait and the leaf highlights. I ended up using the colors that came with our Sketchbox Special Edition Pet Box Edition. And I believe those colors were... I don't even remember, I really should go. I'll insert the names here. I really wanted to get back to basics and using just primary colors to mix up some skin tones. And I'm super happy with how these colors mix to make these really saturated skin tones. And I wanted it to be saturated because I didn't want it to look too real since it's supposed to be a psychedelic surreal kind of thing. So I wanted to use strong colors to make it pop and exaggerate a little. I also ended up putting random colors in there like pops of green and purple and I really did like how that turned out. I also wanted the purple base to show through a little bit. One thing I'm still having trouble with in my own personal art journey is seeing the curvature of the mouth in portraits. Mouths and hands have always been kind of a trouble spot for me so I know I have to keep practicing but I did like how this ended up coming out and I've got to admit I was a little confused as to how I was going to get the facial hair to come out right as well. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to put in the little white hairs or not, so I just did what felt right and I didn't put too much pressure on myself and I decided I'll be happy as long as there was some sort of likeness. I also decided I wanted to keep the eyes white and blank because I thought it would tie in perfectly. Although at first I did, like I wanted to do some space kind of looking eyes with ooze coming out, but I really did not take into account the amount of painting space I had because of the alien eye cutouts. So maybe I'll redo this portrait on a bigger canvas and add the oozy space eyes. The glasses were pretty easy to do and I had fun adding the little highlights on that as well as his hair. A favorite part of mine in this portrait was making the nose. It happened so effortlessly and I really really like the way it came out looking and well long story short I am super pleased with how this came out. I love the panel, the shape itself is so awesome. I love the portrait and how the outline and background shows through a little bit. I am super annoyed at myself for putting it off for so long, but man, this was like really fun overall, and I'm very happy with it. I'm thinking of putting prints of this in my little shop. Not regular prints though, I want to print them out also in an alien shape. I ended up doing that and I really liked the way that it came out. It was really cool to make that happen with my cry cut. So check that out. I do appreciate every commission, print, and coffee that is bought. My channel is almost at 500 subscribers and I'd love to do another giveaway once we reach that mark. If you have any suggestions on what to give away, please let me know down below. I'm thinking of giving away some sort of art supplies that I own that I may have slightly used or tried out but didn't give them enough love let me know if you think that's a good idea or not anyhow i want to thank you again for joining me in this video and i hope to see you next time bye